Danielle Gates decided she was going to divorce Johan Geronimo during the 90-day fiancé. The other way tell all. Find out if they're still married. Danielle Gates discovered that her husband, Johan Geronimo, had been involved with at least 50 to 60 mistresses during their relationship. Johan had been using Danielle for money and had been in multiple relationships at the same time, tricking women into giving him money. Despite their tumultuous relationship, Daniele is still married to Johan and has no plans to remove her Johan tattoo. 90 Day Fiance The Other Way star Danielle Gates claimed she was going to divorce Johan Geronimo during the tell-all. But it appears she may have changed her mind. Danielle, from New York, met Johan in the Dominican Republic, where she was on vacation with her family. Despite Danielle and Johan's 10-year age difference, they got engaged and married five months later in 90 Day Fiance. Love in Paradise Season 2 Danielle had told Johan he would be coming to the U.S. with her. However, she changed her mind and decided she could move to the DR instead. Johan gained sympathy from fans because his wife had made a fool out of him by crushing his American dream. However, as Danielle and Johan's story unfolded on 90 Day Fiance, the other way, it became clear Johan had been using Daniela for money and married her because she was American. Johan called his life a horror story because Daniela wasn't behaving the way he wanted her to. What Johan hadn't mentioned was that he was in multiple relationships at the same time so he could trick women across the world into giving him money. Danielle said she had put up with how Johan was behaving towards her because their day-to-day -day life in the DR was positive as long as he had money. Johan thought he had found a cash cow, but Danielle was trying to tell him they needed to do things together. Danielle first spoke about Johan's mistresses during the final. It had been a month since Johan left the house when a woman DM'd Danielle and told her that she had been in a relationship with Johan for two years, months before he married Danielle. The woman had met Johan's father and nephew and even visited his apartment. The woman sent Danielle pictures Johan had sent her, including nudes. Danielle went through Johan's computer to discover at least six other women had been in an inappropriate relationship with her husband. These were women that Johan had either reached out to ask for money and had video conversations with or women he was planning to meet up with. Johan wanted cash from Danielle and single women he had reached out to because he was collecting money. Danielle didn't know where the money was now, but said there was woman after woman after woman. Sean Robinson asked Danielle if she knew how many women Johan had hooked up with since he got together with Danielle. She did not keep count, but Danielle had several screenshots, which led her to believe the number was probably close to like 50 or 60. A woman named Memory was invited to the reunion to dish out more dirt on Johan. The woman said Johan had approached her by sliding into her Facebook messages to say hello. He started asking her if she was married and had kids, but eventually told her to visit the DR so he could give her a tour. You can just come here and see me. Namori recalled Johan saying.